This book is called Just Me. The author is Marie Hall Etz, who also did all of the illustrations. Marie Hall Etz was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and very much enjoyed childhood summers spent in northern Wisconsin on farms and in rural areas similar to what appears in this book, Just Me. She's famous for other books, Nine Days to Christmas, Play With Me, Gilberto in the Wind, and also a book for grown-ups, Rosa, The Life of an Italian Immigrant. Marie Hall Etz worked as a social worker in Chicago and helped people who immigrated to the United States find a new home and a new life here. Just Me has been a a puffin book. It's also been a scholastic edition. Uh, In the bottom left here, you see um, maybe a dozen and a half other picture puffins from the same series. So if you want to look for some of those titles, they're all wonderful books. A little bird sat on a post by the barn. He was singing with joy to greet the new day. He did not know that Biddy, our cat, was creeping up through the grass, ready to catch him. Fly, little bird, I called, and I clapped. Quick, fly away. And he did. Ooh, that made Biddy mad. But she walked back through the grass to hunt something else. And I followed, and I walked just like her. Over by the gate, Cocky the rooster was looking for worms. Cocky, I said, I can't fly like a bird, but I can walk like a cat, and I can walk like a rooster. Let me see how a rooster walks. So Cocky walked on, and I folded my wings and walked just like him. Pearl, our pig, was taking a bath and nap in some mud. Pearl, I said, let me see how pigs walk. Oh, but Pearl was too lazy to get out of the mud. So I lay down beside her, and I took a bath and nap too. But I took my bath and nap on dry ground, because I had my clothes on. A rabbit was nibbling some leaves off a bush. Rabbit, I said. He didn't have any name because nobody owned him. Rabbit, I can't fly like a bird, but I can hop like a rabbit. Let me see how you do it. So Rabbit went off, hoppity hop hop, and I hopped just like him. A snake went wriggling through the grass. Snake, I said. I can't fly like a bird, but I can wriggle like you. Let me see how you do it. But Freddy Cat Snake darted off down his hole so fast that I couldn't even see how he did it. So I'm not sure that I wriggled just like him. Lulu, the cow, was out in the pasture eating grass to turn into milk. Lulu, I said, I can walk like a cow. Let me see how you do it. Lulu didn't stop eating, but she took a few steps to show me. So I put down my head and ate grass too and walked just like her. In front of the barn, I met Gonky the goose. (laughs) Gonky, I said, I can't fly like a bird, but I can walk like a goose. Let me see how you do it. Gonky spread his wings and started to run. So I spread my wings, too, and I ran just like him. Old Flora, our horse, stood under a tree. She was thinking of something. I don't know what. Flora, I said, I can't fly like a bird, but I can walk like a horse. Let me see how you do it. So Flora opened her eyes and walked on a few steps and I walked just like her. A squirrel sat under the oak tree. He was biting the shell off a nut. Squirrel, I said, I can hop like a rabbit, 
and walk like a horse. And I think I can climb like you. Let me see how you do it. <laughs> so Squirrel dropped his nut and climbed up the fence, and I climbed up too. Spunky the goat was over by the fence, eating flowers and weeds. Spunky, I said, let me see how you walk. But Spunky didn't want to walk. She wanted to butt. She put down her head and kicked her legs and butted. So I put down my head and I butted just like her. Over by the haystack, I met a frog. He was just keeping cool in the shade. Frog, I said, I can't fly like a bird, but I can hop like a rabbit and climb like a squirrel and leap like a frog. Let me see how you do it. So Frog leaped away and I leaped just like him. Down near the woods, I met an old turtle. He wasn't doing anything at all. Turtle, I said, I want to walk like you. Let me see how you walk. And I touched him with a stick. But old turtle just pulled in his head and legs and hid in his shell. So I hid in my shell, too. When I came through the cornfield, I could see the pond. And there was Dad. He was untying the boat. Dad, I called. Dad, wait for me. But Dad didn't hear. So I started to run. And now I ran like nobody else at all, just me. And when Dad heard me, he waited and helped me into the boat. <laughs> and together we went to sea, Dad and me, on the pond at the end of the cornfield. The End This wonderful book about a child's adventures on a farm in the woods has been Just Me, written and illustrated by Marie Hall Etz. And this book gets to wear the seal of a Caldecott Honor Book.